mentioned that I would actually report back, but as you can see, that's on the agenda. And fortunately, there are no guests here today, so I didn't fail, completely fail in my job. Well, Lloyd made the impetuous choice of picking me as his valentine. <laughs> But he wasn't impetuous in the way he presented his toast tonight. He did call out, he didn't actually toast us person, he toasted the occasion. And the occasion he mentioned was April 30th, it's our closeout month and obviously our upcoming anniversary and really touted our club's membership and all wonderful things that we have going for this club. He mentioned that it was chartered in 2000, so that was impressive to know that we've been going for that long. He really personalized the toast because he spoke to each one of us and as Toastmasters, we, we could celebrate that with him. It was very original, I thought, because he mentioned that we had 26 paying members, thanks to Jack tonight. He was very sincere. I feel like Lloyd is very sincere in the way he, he, make, he talks about our club because he really values his club. And he's put a lot of his own hard work and demonstrated and modeled to us speeches and also the way to, he always presents ways that we can improve our speeches. He diligently films us every week, which as I mentioned last week, I have never watched so I hope. Lloyd is one person who actually does view his speech. Mm -hmm. But yes, really touting the successes of our club. We should all be very proud of those. He mentioned what I thought was a really nice um, story, anecdote of the district governor, who actually said we were a, a one, would be a waste of time. And so that really showed that, again, he contrasted our, our club to that club in Spokane, which has ceased to exist, and we are still going strong. I really like that. Lloyd used eye contact, and with a toast, eye contact is really important because you have to be sincere. So it's really looking at the people that you're presenting the toast to. In terms of Lloyd, has always not has always been someone who doesn't move around a lot. And in a toast, I don't really think that's very important anyway. Usually, they stand in one spot and. It's really about eye contact anyway. There wasn't a lot of vocal variety, but I really thought it was appropriate because of the fact that he talked about our club being the elite and used, used the idea of membership and the fact that we've been around for so long. And it's, it's not just any old membership, it's a vibrant membership. And it's clearly not a waste of time. The, other, the thing that Lloyd could have possibly done differently was he really rushed at the end. He didn't set up the toast. And when we talk about toast, there's a certain amount of etiquette involved with the toast. And I think Lloyd could have done a better job in terms of setting up the toast for us and teaching us a little bit about toasting etiquette. He said, drink a toast to us, which is great. And he did mention beverage of choice because the beverage doesn't have to be alcoholic. And uh, although that may disappoint Jack when he was talking about <laughs> his love of wine. Uh, what did I really like about the toast? I love the fact that Lloyd explained the banner because I've actually never heard that explanation. So that really helped me. Um, that he was very sincere, serious, and, and it was quite a sentimental topic, uh, the fact that the club's been going. And he obviously put some great thought into it. He didn't use cliches, but he could have really built up that climax. Thank you, Lloyd.